today I'm actually going to be showing you how to apply eyelashes. Um, so I have them on right now. Obviously this is after I've recorded the video, but this is a question that I typically get and I've kind of been pushing it off for some reason. I don't know. You kind of, I always forget to record myself putting on eyelashes. Uh, it doesn't take a long time at all. It literally takes me like a minute for both eyes combined, so 30 seconds each. Actually, maybe like two minutes because I have to, you know, I'll explain more about that later, why it takes me like a minute. Um, anyway, so yeah, this is a finished look. This is just a simple everyday uh, kind of makeup for um, work or whatever. I'm going to work right now, but this is just something very light or whatever. Um, I'm actually going to, I can do a video if you guys want to know how I do my face. I've kind of changed up my foundation routine a lot. And, yep, yeah, so on my lips, I have, just in case you guys want to know, I have two things on. Um, I have the Rihanna. This one is Bad Girl Riri. It's just a nude. It's a really, really pretty new light. Just wish like it was not a limited edition so everybody could um, get a hold of this. It's like the most beautiful nude I've ever used, and I don't even like nudes. Um, and then I have the Buxom um, lip gloss. Obviously, the name obviously wiped out. So yeah, this is a simple look, and yep, I'll explain more about uh, the products I use and everything um, in a little bit. And I'll see you guys then. Bye. Okay, so as you can tell, one eye is already on. Um, and then the other eye, I just start off with like a simple eyeshadow base, a little uh, crease, obviously my eyebrows are done. And then um, I like to start off with a thick eyeliner, not too thick, but um, maybe like one layer, one good dark layer, because you want to make sure that usually when you put on eyeshadow, there's fallout onto your eyelashes. So you want to make sure that you take off those fallouts by putting mascara over um you know your lashes and make sure you darken them and the eyeliner definitely helps kind of like hide the band of um, the eyelashes so the ones I've been using lately are the Ardell Wispies but um, when I tell people this and like wherever I'm at and they're asking me a question about eyelashes and I tell them they're like they don't look anything like that I'm like well you know, those are the lashes I, lose, uh, I use, and that the reason why they don't look like how they come in the um, packages, the Ardell 120s, the Demi Wispies also, is what they're called, um, is because I wash them. Like, I like to keep my new lashes um, untouched just in case I need extra for my clients, so um, I try to keep to you know my use of my own lashes to a minimum in terms of like my fake lash packages like I try not to open a whole bunch of packages so I wash them um, this is just in a case I wash them and how I wash them is I use like a clean face cloth um, I put it in hot water every night but when I take off my lashes um, or whenever I'm wearing my lashes I don't wear them every night or every day so when I take them off I like to put them um, I'll show you how to have. So say I just took these off my eyes or whatever. I use the like this um this part of the base of my index finger and I lay it over ooh, oh no. I knew something that was gonna like try to fall or whatever, of course. Um I kinda lay them like that. I don't know if you can see. I lay them like that and I use um, an eyebrow brush, an extra one that I have and um, what I do is I go over it with like I put the eyebrow brush in hot water and I just comb through the lashes. The reason why I use this part of my finger is so that the shape of the eyelashes will still remain true after I put the water because when you put water on them um, they tend to lose their shape but if you have something to hold their shape with such as your finger then it will help them you know what I mean remain intact and remain in one piece uh, and remain in their original shape uh, and then after I take my damp hot um, face cloth and I just wipe over um, you know the water that I've placed with the eyebrow brush or whatever and then I let them dry and then the final uh, result is they get into this um they get back into their shape and I actually like the shape that I 
something on my lashes. I actually like the shape that I was able to get by shaping them. So now I have a, the, I use that technique. And the more you comb through, the more the ends will be more dispersed out. And if you just use a cloth and you don't use the, the wand, then you don't get through all of the individual hairs and they might be little clamps, like little clumps of hair stuck together because of the mascara. So I definitely like using both the eyebrow brush or an old mascara brush, whichever one you have, and a fit um, you know, a washcloth. Make sure it's clean, both of them though. Um and anyways, that's how I clean. But back to my um eyelash application <laughs> video. This is what it's supposed to be. Um so I use tweezers glue don't mind my glue kind of like exploded and then foundation fell in my makeup bag like a while ago and then now it's like this and i try to clean it but whatever it's just glue so um there's the eyelashes right so i start off by putting the tweezers you want to you want to use it this way so the angle is facing um your tear duct and then you hold them you don't want to get close to the band so you see how I'm not close to the band, but it's still holding it. Obviously, you can tell that the front part, this part, is supposed to go in my inner corner, and the end is supposed to go on the outer corner. So then I switch my hands so that I can apply um, glue. I apply one generous coat. So as you can see, this is going to be like hard to see, but one generous coat. I concentrate most of the glue on the ends of the lash band because... Those are the ends. The ends are the ones uh, most likely to come off first, whether you accidentally rub your eye or um, the wind blows. Although I've never really had a hard time with like wind and my lash falling. That never happened to me. I do recommend the Revlon. Uh, um, what is this? Precision Clear. So as you can tell, it's clear, but it's kind of the more tacky the glue is getting, the color becomes a little bit darker, uh, kind of like a blue. That's actually a really cool blue. So I kind of just let it sit for um, up to 20 seconds so that the glue does get tacky. I don't recommend putting the lashes on as soon as you put the glue on because it's going to be slippery and it's not going to hold on well as soon as you place it. You just want it to be quick so you want it to you want to let your um, eyelash and glue stay out for 20 to 30 seconds and then apply it as soon as possible. Um, try to get, as the reason why I use tweezers is because obviously I have nails and I can't get as close to my natural lash line as possible if I'm using my nails or my fingers so I use tweezers to help me get a uh, a precise application so I'm gonna show you how it, I have a mirror right here so hopefully you can see it too I start off in the middle and I make sure that's nice and secure and then I go to the end and I kind of push them down as you can see I still have yet to do this part and then I switch my angle And then there you have it and then I push that down too the reason why I push them is so that I secure their place and um, and I don't even know what I'm trying to say but hopefully you understand what I mean like I'm trying to secure their place on my eye um, yeah sometimes if I'm going somewhere nice or you know this is supposed to be more of a formal look I do make sure that I put my liquid eyeliner over it um, and the reason is because it kind of helps you disguise your um, your eyeliner your lash line even more give me one second I'm gonna bring my liquid eyeliner to show you which one I use so I have here a few items that I definitely recommend for lash applications. Um, so I, that I definitely recommend for lash applications. I'm trying to place my lipstick over there. Anyways, so I definitely have these three that are extremely cheap, um, but they are really good quality. I try to minimize the amount of money I spend on little things like eyelashes or, um, you know, just little things like that like eyeliner or whatever I feel like that shouldn't be the main um, money you spend on your makeup I do recommend that your face your foundation your concealer um, should be like the main the you know place that you spend most of your money on anyways this one the um, wet and wild mega liner 
not the waterproof kind make sure you don't get the waterproof kind and this one has a brush applicator oops did I just do that? So it's a push applicator. Obviously, you can see how that applies. And it dries matte, so I'm actually wearing that one right now by itself. And I didn't go over my lash band after I applicate, uh, after I put on my lashes with this. Normally, I would if it was like a fancy event or whatever. But this is just every day. Well, not really. It's more like for work, but whatever. Another one I use is um, the NYC Liquid Eyeliner. It looks like so. And literally, these two should not cost you more than, I would say, more than $3 each. This was like $2.79. This was probably like $1.99. Um, all Walmart or something like that. I forgot. It's different. Like, they cost different based on the states you're in. Like, in New Hampshire, this was like $2.79. Here, I get it for $1.99. This, I don't get it. And then, my favorite, um... My favorite mascara is this one. It's the Jordania Best Lashes Extreme. It's purple. It used to cost $1.99, but now it costs like $3.79. Uh, but I buy it anyway because it gets your lashes really, really um, thick and stuff. I'm actually using it on my bottom ones. I kind of just, you know, put it on my bottom just, just, you know, just to do that. But, um, yeah, so this is how I apply my lashes. And if you have any questions, um, just make sure you um, comment me. Anything that I missed that you guys want to know about. I do use uh, this, um, it's called the NYX. I can't find it in my makeup box right now for some reason. I think I dropped it um, somewhere on my floor. But literally, it is just a concealer pencil. And I like, I've been really into using that on my waterline because kind of I'm really tired lately. Like, I'm just really sleepy. I haven't been getting enough sleep. So it keeps my eyes looking fresh and it keeps them looking big and yeah, stuff like that. So yeah. So I hope you guys found that very helpful. If you have any questions um, regarding eyelashes, another question that I always get is how to know what type of eyelashes to use that give you the most natural appearance. Um, the ones that I always use, these ones, the Ardell Wispies, um, Demi Wispies actually, I do recommend for almost every eye shape. I have what I like to call a standard eye shape. Uh, it's not almond or it's not anything, uh, you know, it's not hooded or what kind of, but... This one works for me, and I've used it on several clients with hooded eyes where their eyelids are covered by their, um, whatever this is called, their brow bone, I don't know. Or, um, other people that have really almond-shaped eyes, like my Asian clients, um, so stuff like that. And this worked out really well on them. I also have several different eyelashes. I can, like, get a good collection together, um, for my next video and show you guys, um, you know, which eyelashes work best for which eye shape. I do like the cat eye look, so this one does, um, allows me to achieve that because it does have a short hair length in the front and then it kind of flares out, which kind of, you know, accentuates the eyelash, um, line that I have with my eyeliner. And so, yeah, it's a, it's a very simple look and I will explain that further in my other videos. If you guys are interested, I will be happy to make those videos for you guys. So yeah, and uh, if you have any questions, like always, make sure to comment um, in the comment box below. And please like and subscribe to my channel. And I promise this time I'll be more uh, frequent in my postings. And uh, that's it. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.